What is going on guys? G1 Esports have just qualified for their first major of the season. They're sending veteran swingman Mark by 8 back to the international stage for the first time since uh, exactly a year ago. He was there in the last winter split alongside BDS. They ended up getting knocked out by FaZe in that and that actually ended the Mark by 8 BDS saga. But alongside Mark, fellow Spaniards Dorito and Atomic who are going to be making their RLCS LAN debuts. It is a really long time coming for Atomic. He's been around for multiple seasons. Formerly he was with T, who then got picked up by Luminosity Gaming alongside Ixo and Tox. That team was always kind of, you know, around but never could get over the hump. I mean, even Atomic kind of, at one point in time, had put out a tweet kind of saying that he didn't have faith he would ever make a LAN. So, redemption for him and Dorito kind of a newer player he's looking to make a name for himself outside of the shadow of CRR they were together all the way back to the White Demons days then to FC Barcelona and then Guild and then of course CRR took off for complexity and now Dorito who is somebody who I've always thought might be kind of a weak spot for this team is really coming into form this was one of the better events I've ever seen from him, specifically in the tiebreaker. We're going to get into some of those numbers in just a second. But this G1 team, they were right on the precipice of competing for a major spot during the fall split, fell short. This time around, they pulled off big wins in the winter split against teams like Moist, Carmine Core, Vitality, BDS. They placed fourth in this final winter international event to even force the tiebreaker in the first place they beat defensive minded teams like german amigos and quadrant to qualify for san diego to make this winter major so far this season atomic has really been the crux of what this team is trying to do especially offensively his 1.163 is the highest rating in all of europe for this season which is really impressive to go along with that, second in goals per game, just behind Oski, and Atomic is at .81 goals per. He's eighth in assists, he's first in shots per game, he's first in goal participation at 74%, so Atomic has really been doing a lot of heavy lifting for this team. But that is not to take away from what Mark and Dorito are contributing. This is a great passing team. All three are at at least a half an assist per game so far this season. Mark by eight played a big role in these tiebreaker matches. He was an excellent setter for Dorito and Atomic. And think about like if you're familiar with volleyball at all, the person who's setting the ball, kind of hitting it up into the air for the striker to kind of send it down. I don't know if that's the names of the positions, but you know what I mean. Mark was doing a great impression of those setters, kind of finding himself in position to just pop the ball into the air, and Dorito and Atomic are just gaining momentum and full boost and just flying at these balls to create these counter aerial attempts. And Mark was a good striker too, I mean 29% on two shots per game over the course of this tiebreaker is pretty incredible, and Dorito, like I was saying earlier, just played out of his mind i mean 0.92 assists per game he was shooting 34 percent which led g1 and he also led g1 in goal participation at 68 percent so awesome performance from dorito i mean so many plays stand out one in particular that comes to mind right away is a play against quadrant where atomic kind of lobs the ball up to him dorito gets the reset on it immediately leaves it with would have must have just been quality communication immediately turns off ball cam off the reset and goes for a demo i'm pretty sure he catches tox who's trying to intercept the ball then hits the sidewall and dorito gets an extra little touch onto it to put it right into the lap of atomic to score i mean just some incredible stuff dorito excellent shooting i think it was game five against quadrant where he had an overtime winner where he just put it right over the top of cash so just some awesome stuff from dorito and mark and dorito they, they were both opening a ton of space as well i mean atomic is the primary scorer on this team 
both were averaging close to two demos per game, which is exactly what you want to see against defensive-minded kind of sitting back teams like Quadrant and German Amigos. So far this season, I mean, this team is near the top in all core EU stats. It's totally one of those scenarios where they could have been there for fall. They're going to be there as we get towards this winter major, of course. So really excited for this team. I'm not really sure what, what to expect just yet. I mean, some of the qualities that can really hinder teams when they get to that international stage is if you're too young and don't have the experience but this team is is all a little older than your kind of common team and not that they're you know they're not solary level of age but you know they've all kind of been around they're savvy they've been around the rlcs for a while with many different teammates and iterations uh, they seem to have excellent communication mark is somebody who has definitely been to the top of the mountain many times in his bds days can kind of lead them from an emotional standpoint. Of course, Coach Kale as well. So we're gonna see how this bracket breaks down. I really like G1 against teams who like to give up a lot of open space. I mean, Quadrant and German Amigos are great examples. I think about Space Station Gaming on the other side of the pond, perhaps some of our South American teams, but we're gonna see how the cookie crumbles. Um, some really great stuff from them so far. The defense held up. So. Yeah, really excited to see G1 making it out of all three of these teams. What do you guys think? Do you give them a shot at the international stage? Please let me know in the comments below. Excited to hear what you guys have to say. As always, guys, thank you so much for taking the time. And until next time, take it easy. Have been really get the pressure Doritos put on them. He's all over them again. Looks for a double at the near post. Faking shots. And there it is! Dorito to Atomic to the back of the net. Unbelievable. Brilliant shot by Atomic.